Good evening, everyone. I'm Adam Stern, Executive Director of Actera, and I want to welcome you to what I think is the 28th Annual Business Environmental Awards, the very first time that we've done this in San Francisco. And it's great to see so many new faces, and we uh, look forward to you enjoying the program. I want to get started by first recognizing two elected officials who are with us, uh, the mayor of the city of Hayward, Mayor Barbara Halliday, and David Hudson, council member from the city of San Ramon, who is the board chair this year of the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. So welcome, Mayor Halliday. And Actera is a local climate action organization with a long history of bringing people together to create local solutions for a healthy planet. We've been serving the Bay Area since 1970. Our goal is to make it faster, easier, and cheaper to take action to reduce the causes of climate change. We do that by promoting greater use of renewable energy residential energy efficiency, clean transportation, and leadership in corporate sustainability. We also work to ensure that clean energy technologies, including rooftop solar and electric vehicles, are accessible to people of all income levels. Through education and advocacy and working with businesses, nonprofits, and government, we stand strong in these challenging times. With federal environmental regulations threatened, weakened, and in some cases being dismantled, it's more important than ever to work with the states and especially locally. Together we continue our fight that we will have clean air and water and healthy neighborhoods for future generations in the Bay Area and to set an example for others to follow. The Business Environmental Awards program was founded in 1990 and to date Actera has recognized more than 200 companies and organizations for environmental leadership in the Bay Area. Tonight, we'll celebrate eight more exceptional award winners. Our celebration tonight is the culmination of a full year's work in which Actera staff and volunteer advisors and judges have recruited applicants, have evaluated their applications, conducted site visits, selected finalists and award winners, and produced tonight's program. We're here tonight thanks to the support of many sponsors, volunteers, and companies. And I want to take a, a moment to acknowledge two special partners. First, join me in thanking our host and the sponsor of the Spare the Air Leadership Award, the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. We're extremely grateful for working with the Air District. We, we started to do this last year and our partnership has grown stronger. Our mission and values are closely aligned. I'm excited to announce this evening that in partnership with the Air District, we're planning another exciting educational event to promote sustainability and climate action in business. This fall, Actera will bring together professionals in the food service industry to help make the connection between food and climate change be focused on reducing food waste, promoting sustainable food sourcing, and climate-friendly diets, all of which are discussed in the Bay Area Air Quality Management District's Clean Air Action Strategy. You'll be hearing more about this very soon. And next, I want to thank Alcatraz Cruises, a past Business Environmental Award winner and generous 2018 champion-level sponsor. We're grateful for all of our sponsors, especially the many dedicated companies who commit year after year to support our important work. I invite you to look at your program for the full list of our sponsors. And I'd like to thank our amazing Actera staff, including Nicole Angel and Danielle Flanagan, who have worked all year on this program. And now I'd like to introduce Jack Broadbent, the executive officer of the Air District, who will speak about this spectacular building that we've just been enjoying and the vital work of the Air District. Please welcome Jack Broadbent. Well, good evening. Thank you, Adam. 
Um, on behalf of the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, I want to welcome you to our new home. I get a chance to say that, I think, uh, a little bit longer. Uh, we've been here a couple of years. But uh, it's referred to as the Bay Area Metro Center. We're pleased to be hosting the Actera Business Environmental Awards this year. And it's fitting that uh, we are holding this year's, uh, essentially, the, our awards dinner here, um, award event, in this building as it has been uh, recycled and repurposed from its in initial uh, use. And so let me tell you a little bit about this building. And I hope you're getting a chance to appreciate it because uh, it looks a lot different from when it was first built. Let me say it that way. It was built back in World War II, 1942 exactly. Uh, and it was built to produce half tracks, if you all know what those are. It's half truck, half tank, if you will. Uh, so the floors are 14 inches thick. And uh, they started from the top, and they, started, they, they added to what they had to do, and they constructed a half track, and they put it in a tunnel, and it got ultimately put on a Liberty ship over off of the Embarcadero. So it's got a rich history here with this building. In the 1960s, the building was repurposed and became a postal distribution, uh, postal distribution center. And it handled over 10 million parcels. And indeed, here in this building, you had volunteers responding to letters that were addressed to Santa Claus. So, um, so we kind of have a touch of that when we finally issue a permit here from the Bay Area. <laughs> so today, uh, this building is home to uh, the four uh, regional agencies. And um, so uh, it is home to the Association of Bay Area Governments, of course, the Air District, the Bay Conservation and Development Commission, and the Metropolitan Transportation Commission, all here at 375 Beale that we call home. This renovated building was created through the collaboration of both local agencies, and it is indeed a LEED certified gold building. Here at the Air District, let me tell you a little bit about the Air District. Um, our mission is uh, straightforward and simple. Our mission is to protect public health, air quality, and the global climate. We were established back in 1955, actually. Uh, and indeed, uh, since that time, we have made significant progress, obviously, in cleaning up the air here in the Bay Area. We've done that through first-of-its-kind uh, regulations, uh, innovative, leading air quality compliance and enforcement programs. Uh, we have a whole host of grants that we issue uh, from the Air District. Indeed, we receive and distribute about $200 million at the Air District to help clean up sources. And I think a lot of uh, folks know us from our Spare the Air program. That, that is something that most everybody uh, knows and, and understands who the, the Bay Area Air Quality Management District is. And it's through these efforts we've seen a dramatic improvement in air quality. And this is despite the fact that the population since 1955 has quadrupled since uh, that time, and the economy has remained vibrant and continues to grow. But one of the most significant challenges facing our air quality efforts is climate change. Indeed, the Air Quality District is taking some very bold actions to improve, not only improve our air quality, but also put in place innovative climate protection strategies. Uh, we're about to release as much as $4.5 million in grants to local governments to help them reduce their carbon footprint. A lot of these efforts are laid out in the plan that Adam mentioned, which is our Spare the Air, Cool the Climate plan. And, and one of the central themes of that plan is that it will take all of us, communities, residents, governments, academia, and yes, businesses, like our award winners, making, making uh, essentially important sustainable choices that will help us achieve our climate goals which is, of course, why we're here today, to be able to recognize some important business leaders. In partnership, Actera and the Air District have joined together to honor and recognize the Bay Area business environmental leaders, companies that take action and create solutions to the challenges we face, and very specifically climate change uh, concerns. The award winners recognized here tonight are innovators that set a high standard for Bay Area businesses. 